felt pretty lousy. Several of us in pulmonary rehab, we like a small group right there, um, <laughs> that have pulmonary fibrosis, we have noticed that they have more than one Yeah, I mean, I hear that very often. And, uh, like you can't drink a milkshake anymore because that, that, that's going to send you uh, coughing real bad part of the way through. I'll tell you, I usually have two thoughts. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Good to see you. Oh, okay. <laughs> the uh, two thoughts are one is that um, I hear this all the time. So this seems to go with symptoms typical of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Another is, am I sure I'm not missing someone who has reflux or silent aspiration that I need to be paying more attention to, but the, the timing with just the cold seems on. Uh, so oftentimes I'll review at that time about reflux, blocking the bed, what are you eating, things like that. The specific thing with um, milkshakes, um, I've heard, and I'm not sure, I know that milk has a lot of base in it. I use it with some inhaled medicine. It actually helps people that use an inhaled medicine and cough. I'll say, drink some milk, and it takes the acidity out of the medicine. Um, that's the best oh, medicine. Cold, 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 you know, there's, there's likely a, a link between spasm of the esophagus and bronchospasm, but I don't know exactly. Okay. And the other thing, I would be careful with macrophage okay. because with that association that's with it, it's a common, common medicine to prevent urinary tract infections. Um, short course is, is much safer. It used to be that people who had a urinary tract infection were left on macrophage for years to prevent other ones, yeah. and that's when it had the biggest risk. But short-term, don't even go there. Try something else. Uh, you know, if there are alternatives. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to. I'll take one more, and then I'm uh, I'll get in trouble. Well, I don't have pulmonary fibrosis. I have COPD. But I was wondering, I also have Sherwin syndrome, the whole drying of the eyes and, and the liquids and whatnot. And I used to have just constant you know, trying to, trouble get, trying to get through this up and down. But the doctor said, take a ma maximum dose of mucinex twice a day, and that should help to thin your